Hello and welcome to The Guitar Collection. What I have here with me today is a beautiful guitar by the Australian luthier Kim Lieserog. Um, this is an extremely, extremely loud guitar, but it's not just loud. I feel that some guitars, especially um, some makers that really just only shoot for volume, uh, many other aspects of the guitar suffers. However, this builder is doing an incredible job still making the guitar sound very natural and very colorful um, while producing, I mean, an insane amount of volume. Take whatever double top you know, and it's more. And of course, take whatever traditional guitar you know, and it's more. It's really, really loud, and you can even feel it behind the instrument. It's worth noting a couple of... Um, key interesting things about this. Of course, the volume. I have to talk more and more about that. Uh, but other things is that it's a fairly heavy guitar, like you see some of these uh, Greg Smallman inspired uh, lattice brace Australian guitars. It is quite heavy. However, I have to say it feels really comfortable in your lap. Now, I always use something to grip the guitar to my leg. But even without that, I have to say the guitar sits very nicely. I'm not wrangling the instrument to stay in my lap. Really, I could do that in a variety of positions with the guitar, and it really stays put, which, you know, even if you may not like lugging around a heavy guitar, it does sit in your lap really quite nicely, and you feel really comfortable. Speaking of comfort, I find the armrest to be just so welcoming for your arm to move around, change colors on the guitar, smoothens out that edge. The neck is very thin and C-shaped, which I'm a huge fan of. I love thin necks. I don't like the D-shaped necks as much. Um, this is very, very thin and so easy to play on. And this particular instrument is a 640 scale guitar. So it's 10 millimeters less than the standard 650 scale. I have to say the first instrument that I tried by Kim Lee Sarag was a couple of years ago and is a full 650 scale guitar that had a little bit wider of a nut and um, it was incredible. It blew, my, it blew me away. So what I really wanted was like a standard nut and a little bit smaller scale and I'm thankful that Kim Lee Sarag built this for me um, and I have to say it is just a dream to play. It's so easy to make music on. It's so easy to stay balanced. Um, and while, you know, there is a, a, a hint of the lattice sound, if you want to say that's a bad thing, you can. Uh, however, I find it to be a quality that as your hands get used to treating the guitar um, in the way that it is, as far as like having a really quick response and coming to volume really, really quickly, um, your hands adjust to it and you make less of that lattice sound. Um, a very interesting phenomenon that I've noticed, whenever switching to a different style of guitar, whether it's lattice to double top or traditional to double top or traditional to lattice, um, those that are used to another type of guitar and will pick up a guitar, say, going from traditional to lattice, they will make um, all of the qualities that are negative about that other style come out really quickly. But then as they get to know the guitar and as you get to play it, you start learning how to treat it the way it wants to be treated. Um, maybe, uh, I'm, maybe I am uh, humanizing the instrument too much, but I really find it to be true. And after a little while of playing this guitar, my hands really adapt to it and it just becomes so easy to make music. Enough talking about this guitar. I'll wrap up with the specs here that I haven't already mentioned and play a few passages for you here on this instrument. Um, so this guitar, like I said, is 640 scale. This is a spruce top. Kim typically puts these little protectors, since these tops are very fragile, he puts protectors here and below the bridge, but I preferred the look of the guitar without that. So I decided uh, to ask him to not put those on here and I really like that clean look, but it is dangerous, right? Um, so yes, it is spruce top and it is a zero cote back and sides, or maybe you say zero coat. Um, and it's a thin neck, like I said, 52 millimeter nut. And you can see this headstock design, um, not too wild, uh, really nice, beautiful, simple design here. Um, no raised fingerboard like most of the Australian makers that are in this Smallman style do, but it is still really easy to get up to the high frets. So 
Before I play a few musical passages for you, I want to remind you to subscribe to this account. Make sure to check out guitarcollection.com as well as my various other social media channels. Um, I'm always listing up new guitars that I have, whether it's just a video or if it's a guitar for sale. Um, if you go to that website, there's an email list that you can sign up for and you'll be the first to be notified when something new goes on the website or a new video goes up uh, or a new instrument I have goes up for sale. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe to this channel. I'm always posting reviews of guitars and playing passages on them. Uh, but even if you don't, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed uh, getting to know this Kim Lee Srog guitar a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Thank you.